Hello, it's uh, March the 13th, 2018, and we are approaching Easter. And it was uh, over the Easter period, nine years ago, that I suffered my brain hemorrhage. Uh, it happened on the Tuesday night, early hours Wednesday morning, um, just before Easter. And by the Wednesday afternoon, I'd slipped into a coma. I awoke from the coma on Good Friday. Now, I'd love to say that I arose on Easter Sunday, but I can't. Well, I could, but I'd be making it up. It's not really true. I, I, I woke up uh, from the coma on Good Friday. I was a little bit confused, uh, as you would expect. I'd, I'd been lashing out at the nurses. I'd been trying to hit them. And uh, it said on my notes, mind the left hook. And that seems a little bit unfair because, you know, they, they were only trying to help me. And, and I, wouldn't, I wouldn't hit anybody. Um, uh, but certainly not NHS staff, you know, when they're trying to help you. And without the NHS staff, I wouldn't be here. Um, when I actually fully awoke from the coma, I couldn't talk properly because I had a kind of ventilator in my mouth. So they, they gave me a, a piece of paper and a pen, and I wrote, the very first thing I wrote was, I thought you were trying to kill me. And that's what I was thinking when I was lashing out at the nurses. Um... I don't remember thinking that they were trying to kill me. I don't remember writing, I thought you were trying to kill me. But I remember writing something, but I, I don't remember what my thoughts were at the time. Uh, so here I am, nine years on, I had brain surgery a couple of times, whilst awake. That was interesting. Um, and I wrote a book about it, and it's called I'm Never Ill, A Journey Through Brain Surgery and Beyond. Mark D. Pritchard, I have to use the, my middle initial because there's another Mark Pritchard who writes books on erotica, The Filthy Beast. So that's not me. So I, I figured that I should use my middle initial so people would know the difference between the two of us. Uh, four years after uh, my, my brain hemorrhage, uh, my wife Sarah uh, developed breast cancer. In fact, she developed that whilst I was writing the book. So that wasn't originally going to be a part of the book, but so I kind of tagged it on at the end. She went through chemotherapy and radiotherapy and uh, surgery. She had a lump removed and stuff. And so, yeah, I mean, that was quite, quite a journey as well. Uh, my book has been used at uh, universities for student nurses uh, because of the patient perspective, because there's lots of things that you wouldn't know what was going through a patient's mind uh, unless they'd actually been uh, documented one way or another. And so I, I've documented lots of, of things um, in my book. My website is markdpritchard.co.uk or markdpritchard.com. And if you go on there, there are links to the ebook and to the paperback. Uh, they're available on, on Amazon. The ebook is £1.99, that's UK currency. The paperback is £5.99. Um, but they're available in different currencies uh, around the world. You just call them your own version of Amazon uh, and you'll find it on there. Uh, that really is, is about it. I'd love you to visit my website even if you don't buy a book. Um, there's lots of interesting stuff on there. I've got some songs that I write and I've put that on there. And uh, blogs about some of our holidays because we've been we've done Route 66 since then, and uh, Florida road trip, and California road trip, um, this is how we live our lives now. Um, yes, so I, I'd love you to visit the website, uh, and, and have a happy Easter. Thank you.